here if you get tech. So we've taken a look at the Vivo V11 quite a few times already in this channel. But I want to expand the discussion even further. Alright, so we have the new design. The small sexy notch, the in-display fingerprint scanner, the powerful mid-range processor. But today, let's focus on the AI cameras. The back features a dual setup with 12 megapixel plus 5 megapixel dual pixel sensors. They both have a large aperture of f1.8, so the secondary 5 megapixel camera is more for getting depth information for those portrait or bokeh shots. But the main 12 megapixel camera boasts dual pixel autofocus technology that Vivo says can lock accurate focus in just 0.03 seconds. And up front, since this is a Vivo phone after all, we have a high resolution 25 megapixel selfie camera. So the camera software that brings all three cameras together has some AI capabilities. And today we're gonna talk to you about that, starting with the front camera. And I'm guessing you guys know where this is going already. Yep, so for the first AI feature, it's gonna be the AI face beauty technology. So this is your standard face beauty mode that scans your face, analyzes it, and smoothens out any blemishes or imperfections on your skin, making for a fresh look. But not only that, the V11 also has what we call AI face shaping technology, which actually uses a facial modeling algorithm to enhance particular parts of your face, such as making your face thinner, your eyes bigger, your lips more pouty, or giving yourself a jawline. You can do all of this manually, but if you get it wrong, yeah, something like this could happen. Oh no! So it's best to use the AI instead. It knows what it's doing. We also still get AI selfie lighting here that has two new modes, loop light and rainbow light. But the algorithm here is improved, as it more accurately depicts how your face interacts with artificial light in 3D space. For the rear cameras, we have AI Backlight HDR and AI Low Light Mode that can detect if your shot is heavily against the light or if lighting conditions are poor. Knowing this, the phone will then capture multiple frames and combine them together to achieve better detail and exposure. So one example I can think of for the AI Backlight HDR is like when you're taking a nice photo against a sunset or in front of a window, just like this. We also have AI portrait framing that actually guides you to a better shot by giving you real-time on-screen instructions on how to hold your phone in the best position. This way, you get a way nicer image. But if it's perfect exposure you're looking for, the phone also has AI scene detection, which is a camera feature that a lot of phones nowadays have. It will identify certain objects, subjects, or entire scenes and set the exposure to best capture the image. It will then also apply the appropriate post-processing to really enhance your pictures and make them pop. But also speaking about identifying subjects, the V11 comes with Google Lens. So if you aren't familiar with this, it's basically a feature that lets you point your camera at something and Google will identify what that thing is. So you can use this when traveling to identify tourist spots and monuments. Or you can point it at logos to learn more about that company. It's pretty useful and could even save you. And once you're done taking all those nice photos, the AI image identification will intelligently categorize your shots and even group duplicates together. So you're not stuck scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and you get the picture. It's neat and you can find stuff pretty easily. As time goes by, the V11's camera will continuously learn from your photos, making your experience better and better. That's the power of camera AI in action. Cool, in it. So, the most important thing. What do you guys think about the Vivo V11's AI camera features? Let us know in the comment section down below. And as for Yosh, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more content, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified of our future uploads. Once again, this is Kim of Yuketech, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!